Hello and welcome to the third of our quick video tours of your StepBud Center. In this video we're going to cover how to fully utilize your address book and how to get the most out of segmenting your contact list. As many of you know, all of our friends and family that are in our contact list are divided really into subgroups. We're going to speak to our family differently than our friends, differently than our coworkers, differently than the people that we went to school with. And it helps to be able to speak to those groups very differently. So what we have inside your address book is the ability to segment your audience into groups. When you come into your address book, you're going to see this groups button right here. When you select it, it'll show you the pre-existing groups that we've built for you. You'll see people that have donated to you in this current event, people that have not donated to you yet, people that are currently on your team, people that are not on your team, people that donated to you last year, people that were on your team last year, and so on, including people that have never emailed and people that you have emailed but have not donated yet, and people who have donated that you have not emailed since they donated and thus are in need of a follow-up thank you email. Not only can you assign people to add into these groups, even though they'll be filtered into the, the base groups automatically, you can create your own groups. To do that, you can come up here to Add to Group and click Create New Group. So I can create Family. I'll click Submit. And then all I need to do is come back here to Individuals and select the people on this list that are members of my family. Once I've selected that list, I can come up here to Add to Group, click on the group name, and it will add them into my family list. I can come down here to select all or none, click None to reset, and now I can set up my coworkers. I can come here and click Add New Group, and I can say Office, I'll click Submit, and again, I'll select the people that are in my office, come up here to Add to Group, and select Office. This is going to let us then come here and filter down by these groups. I can click on Office and I can see only the people that are in my office. This is going to give you a whole lot of individuality and quick ability to segment down your audience. When you come here to your Compose Email button, you're going to have the ability to quickly type in a name of one of your groups and when you select it by clicking tab it's going to autofill in that entire group which is going to save you some time in selecting who you're going to email to. Being able to segment down your audience is going to let you reach out more directly to each individual person based on how you interact with them and how they interact with you without having to write a specific email to each of your individual contacts and that's going to keep you effective and efficient in reaching out to people and at the same time increase the success you have in fundraising. We hope you stick around for the next video in our series which is going to be how to compose and send emails.